Hey everyone. Okay, I haven't really done an update on the club car carry-all pretty much since I put the top on. After we put the top on, we did a little bit of wiring. We installed the slow-moving vehicle placard and that light right there. That light has never been hooked up since we put the cab on. Uh, I really didn't like the idea of that light and I did not want to drill through the uh, plastic roof to mount anything up there either. So I have a solution for that light, which I'll show in a second, but I figured I'd show the replacement lights that are on the front here. If you're wondering, I just said I didn't want to drill through the roof. These holes were already here and the wiring for these lights were already here as well. The, when this cab was on the original machine, it had this wire right here running up to go to the cab lights. The uh, wiper, and it's actually had a cabin light at one time right there. I definitely wish it still had that. That would have been nice. And the roof interior light, the wiring all for that is uh, integrated in through the actual cab itself. Um, when we first put the cab on, and it comes down this uh, A pillar right here. So anyways, when, we, when Emily and I first put the cab on, we did hook up that wiring and we were trying to get it to work, but there were a couple splits leading up to where it goes up the A pillar. Uh, we just never really investigated any farther and I don't know if I ever will in the future. I might, the wiring is actually just hanging out underneath the floor. I do have it tucked up. Um, so I did actually drill the hole, and everything to bring the wiring down through the floor and everything. I just never went any farther with it because shortly after we got the cab on, that's when we got sick. So I just never went any farther than that. So anyways, I have finally got the rooftop lights on. These are actually the same rooftop lights that I used on the parts cart when I got rid of that. I bought uh, two sets of them. They're not terrible. They're, they're all plastic. Um, they didn't come with any relay switches or nothing. Basically just the light and a short pigtail that came out of the light. Um, up here is my existing wiring. So all I really did was I removed the original mounts because the mounts were incompatible. Uh, I left the original bolt because the bolt actually has the hole going through it to run the wires through. So I left all the mounting hardware the same except for the mounting hardware for the light itself and uh, just used the uh, stepper bit, drilled out this bracket here. I had the clearance at the bottom of the light as well, down in here. Actually, you might be able to see it better from the front, right here. So as, as you can see, it lines up right against there. So with a little bit of work, it was actually, they were relatively easy to install. Luckily, the wiring itself was intact. There was a little bit of an issue with these connections right here. If I continue to have issues down the road, I will cut those out and I'll probably just um, hardwire them in, heat shrink them, stuff like that. But as of right now, it is working. I'm going to get some self tappers, sorry about that, and screw this into the actual A pillar itself. When the wiring goes down, I kept the original uh, clip like this that the front corner of the cab bolt was on. So that goes down into where the radio will be going. Oh, sorry about that. Down into where the radio will be going. This machine's actually getting a marine style radio eventually. Uh, it's about 150 bucks. And it's really 150 bucks I don't want to spend right now considering pretty soon I won't be driving this machine. This machine will be put away for the winter. So yes, I do want it and I'm actually missing not having the radio when I do use this machine. So the radio will be something that will be coming back. The radio I'm looking at actually comes with speakers as well. So I actually have a four speaker stereo mount two up, one up in that corner up there, one up in uh, this corner right here. And I do believe it has the abilities to have an amp as well. So I might put an amp in line as well. I haven't yet decided on that one. Um, but that's pretty well it. The windshield, as you can see, is still out. I have not yet got it replaced. I um, don't know if I ever will. This is something I don't need. The windshield really just gets in the way. And the side grate has been taken off just to help with visibility. Something I did learn 
after we got this cab on, the visibility was definitely lacking. And I did say that to Emily because uh, I believe she passed away three weeks after we got the cab done, three or four weeks after the cab got done. I'm not 100% sure on, on the actual timeline of when we got the cab uh, fully installed to when she passed away. Uh, I know she never rode with me with the cab on, but uh, she wanted seat belts. And of course, after she passed, I found a lap belt that would have worked for her. And we were trying to put shoulder belts in this. We actually did uh, pick up some GM shoulder belts right here. And I was working on getting them unlocked. They are currently locked. So I was working on taking them apart and actually unlocking them and making a uh, shoulder belt setup that would work for her. Then my plan was I was going to put a shoulder belt in on the driver's side as well. I wouldn't use it since I get in and out of this machine a lot. But for her, it would have been security for her. So anyways, that's just an update on what I am currently doing to this machine. And what I was actually going to do in the future with this machine. But some things will still be done. Uh, but other things won't be. Um, I'm probably almost done what I want to do the, do this machine except for the radio. Um, the rooftop light. Sorry, I almost forgot about that. Here it is right here. This is what I'm do, going for with the rooftop light. This actually has 12 different settings. It is magnetic. I do have a way I'm um, going to mount this to the roof. And then on the end, it has a cigarette style hookup. This here will be uh, just connected pretty much straight to the battery. I got an adapter coming that will be connected to the battery. And this here will be put in line. So that's the way I'm going to put it. Um, that's the way I'm going to run it. And I'm just going to glue it to the actual roof itself. And when the wire comes out and down, I'll just zip tie it to the actual back rack and be done with it. And the existing light will be taken off and used on something else. So that's uh, just a quick update on the actual club car carry all. I know it's been a long time coming for any updates on this. This particular video I might actually post immediately. It's December 4th today, so I might post it today and have it live for tomorrow, so the 5th, or Monday the 6th. I haven't yet decided. Um, Saturday, Saturdays are still really hard days for me, so that's why I'm up here getting work done and getting this uh, taken care of. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.